Let's talk about President Corazon C. Aquino, the seventh president and the first woman president of the Republic of the Philippines from February 25, 1986 up until June 30, 1992. Most of us were probably not present at the time she ruled the country, so let's take a deeper look at her accomplishment in the field of science and technology and see how it shaped the Philippines as a nation. In her State of the Nation address in 1990, Corazon Aquino stated that science and technology development will be one of the government's top three priorities for economic recovery. During her administration, she reorganized the National Science and Technology Authority, renaming it the Department of Science and Technology, and gave a representation in the cabinet. On August 8, 1988, Corazon Aquino created the Presidential Task Force for the Science and Technology, which came up with the first Science and Technology Master Plan or STMP. The goal of STMP was for the Philippines to achieve the newly industrialized country status by the year 2000. Former DOSD Secretary Seferin Falasco reported that the budget allocation for science and technology was increased to 1.54 billion pesos in 1989, from the previous year's 464 million pesos. However, due to the Asian financial crisis, budget allocation for the years 1990 and 1991 were trimmed down to 920 and 854 million pesos respectively. Budget allocation were increased to 1.7 billion pesos in 1992. President Corazon Aquino encouraged scientists and inventors to bring the Philippines to its former position as a second only Japan in field of science and technology. One of her administration's aim was to reach the status of industrialized country by the year 2000. Executive Order Number 128, Revoke RA Number 3859, often known as the Philippine Inventors Incentive Act. During President Corazon Aquino's term and the reorganization of the Philippine bureaucracy, despite the demise of the Philippine Inventors Commission, her administration opened up a new channels for the government to assist the country's advancement in science and technology. She also implemented RA 6655 or the Free Public Secondary Education Act of 1988, the Science for the Masses program, which aimed to improve scientific and technological literacy among Filipinos, was implemented in the school system in tandem with the opening of doors to free education up to secondary level. A study and development plan was also created to look into and establish which areas of research needed to be prioritized. The Omnibus Investment Law includes funding for research and development activities. The use of trichoderma for rapid composing had an impact on the countryside and reduced our reliance on imported fertilizer. As of February 1992, there were 254 mass production facilities across the country, covering 4,980 hectares and employing 7,955 farmers. The development of sex reversal technology that turns female tilapia into male tilapia. There were 26 tilapia pilot cooperators in 23 municipalities in 19 provinces as of May 1992 as a dispersal unit was also set up at the DOSD main building pool, where over 5,000 fingerlings were sold at low prices, promoting Bakir Tilapia culture in Metro Manila.